Hello, First Ave family. I'm Richard Neeson here with today's 180 turn. And today we're looking at Acts 23. And uh, the verse I want to share with you is actually verse 11, but a little bit of context here first. So Paul has been brought before the Sanhedrin or the, the Jewish court and accusations are being hurled at him. He's being treated unfairly. It gets to the point where he's actually, they actually hit him and, and strike him and, and there's a whole uproar that's going on. And it even gets to later on in the chapter where we learn that there's a plot to kill him. I mean, things are not looking good for him. And, but verse 11, so the following night, after his time in the Sanhedrin here, the following night, the Lord stood near Paul and said, take courage. As you have testified about me in Jerusalem, so you must also testify in Rome. That part there, the following night, the Lord stood near Paul. Have you ever had a time where you have faced a situation and it has just been unfair? It, it really, truly has been unfair. Accusations have been hurled at you. People have been saying things about you, maybe behind your back, and, and you just question, God, where are you? Why are you not defending me, right? The Lord stood near Paul. Now, I, I've had times in my life where I face things and, and it has just crushed me to the core, truly crushed me. And I've, I've questioned my, even to the point of questioning my faith and saying, God, where are you? Why, why are you not intervening on my behalf? And so I was journaling a bit about this. And I just want to share a little bit from my journal here. You are not alone. Just as I was with Paul in his time of uncertainty, his time of being unfairly imprisoned and accused, just as I stood near to Paul, I am standing near to you. I am right there in the thick of things. I am right in the middle of your anguish. The tears you are shedding are not being shed alone. When you cry, it breaks my heart and I cry with you. I am in the midst of your sorrow. I am standing near. First half, family, that's our promise. It's our promise. Our Heavenly Father is standing near to us just as he was standing near to Paul. Lord, thank you for that promise. Thank you that you're standing near no matter what we're going through, no matter what accusations are being hurled at us, no matter how unfair we think the situation is. We know that you are our defender. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Bless you, first half. May you be encouraged and just know the Lord stood near. The Lord is standing near to you right now. Bless you.